Alright guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the This Is Anything Goes. Today is a rainy day. We are going to have a DIY on how to change the radiator fan 2 pin connector wiring socket. Alright, so yeah, let's get to it. Alright, first to replace the radiator fan motor socket First, we need to identify which fan is um, not functioning So in my case, it will be the one on the driver side Whereby when the car is running, it doesn't turn on at all Alright, so what I did discover is that Once I unplug this Okay, if you can see, it's toasted Okay, it's um, burnt. Well, apparently this is a fairly um, common issue with the uh, Proton Inspira or the Lancer 08. Okay, so once you have unplugged that, um, take it out from the socket over here. Take the wire out. Then unplug it from here as well. So to do this, it's going to be a bit tough with the space you have. Okay, then just lock it out. Okay. So as we can see here, this side of the socket is good, it's just that it's toasted on this side. So before we plug in the new socket, what we'll need to do is that we'll need to check if there's any residues leftovers in the uh, fan motor itself. In this case, it looks good. Okay, it looks good. Alright, so if there is any residual plastic left over in it, what you can do is that you can actually put in a, um, a screwdriver or something small and just um, move it around so that it breaks the melted plastic. Then after that, you can use compressed air or anything just your mouth and a straw to blow out all the residue okay now we'll be plugging in the new one okay so oh this is the new one so as you can see the socket looks good okay that's a good click Okay, I think I might need to do this a bit on the off-camera because it requires two hands. Okay, that's done. Okay, so that's how you change the uh, Proton Inspira or Lancer 08 radiator fan uh, socket. Alright, commonly, com it's a common issue that it burns out. So, yeah, it's just a cheap fix. It's about 32 ringgit. I know, just for two, two sockets and one wire over there, it's kind of expensive. Even the uh, spare part owner that sells it to me also was, caught, was saying it's a bit overpriced, but that's the that's the price that they got from the distributor or the dealer itself so nothing can be done it was a cheap fix 32 ringgit that's about eight dollars eight dollars it's not original but it's just a it's just a wire so doesn't doesn't matter okay so what makes me uh, decide to actually pop the hood and check the radiator fan so what happened is that um, if you watch my previous video I was changing the um, magnetic clutch for the aircon because the aircon was not engaging all right um, due to heat so after changing that it was working fine perfectly fine uh, but what I do notice is that if I'm stuck in a traffic jam for an extended period of time the aircon while it does engage 
you can hear the clicks, you can hear the gas, but the aircon is not cold. So these are symptoms of an uh, overheating engine. Um, but when I check the temperature of the car, it's okay, it's perfect. So that led, that led me to try to investigate, that lead me to actually popping up the, the uh, bonnet and then to see what's, uh, what's happening over there. And what I noticed is that the radiator fan on the driver's side was not, um, was not turning at all. Okay, so I was about to actually um, um, test the voltage on, on the socket itself, but the moment I unplug it, I noticed it's already burned, so there's no point in testing. Replacement is the only option there. Obviously, um, if you are good in wiring and want to do a hack job, you don't even need a, 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 a much much money to for this. Also, you can just solder the wire onto it. But nah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. So instead of buying a socket, you can just solder it there. But nah, that's a hack job. Okay. Um. Yeah. So the DIY probably take about two three minutes. Yeah. Not 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 too long. So yeah, it's something that you can do it yourself. All right. Okay. So this is a short video. I'm sorry. I apologize because the camera was shaking a lot. Um, there was no way for me to actually mount the tripod uh, properly to, to have a proper view so I have to hold the camera while I'm actually doing the DIY that's why there's a lot of shaking so yeah don't blame me if you get a headache and as usual if you like this video hit the like if you dislike it yeah you can hit that and consider subscribing as well because we'll be coming up with more videos and next week we're gonna continue back to our soundproofing series part 3, part 4 and part 5 Alright, so stay tuned for that and as usual, if you think uh, your friends can benefit from this, hit the share. Alright, peace out.